Two months ago, I made this video. I have arguably got the best deal when it's come to secondhand golf clubs ever in the history of secondhand golf clubs. Two months ago, I also made this statement. I want to say thank you for the support on the channel. This is um, a, a lifetime, once in a lifetime deal, which I'm never going to be able to get hold again. I want to share it with you guys. So basically when I get to 20,000 subs on this channel, whenever that is, that might be in a year, six months, whenever. Two months later, we're very close. So I guess it's about time to give them away to one of you. Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Burford Golf Lab. And before I get into the video, the video that started it, all the clubs that started bargain review, I have to announce the winners of who won that ping putter, which was Gerald. Congratulations. And the V Steel hazardous smoke stiff combination whatever you like to call it and that was john well done to both of you guys i've replied to both of your comments so send me your email addresses and i'll get that sent out to you so they are here and we are very close to this date i think i'm about 30 away to hit 19,000, which is incredible the last two months have been very exciting the channel's done incredibly well we've given away tons of golf clubs as well as informed you guys on how to buy secondhand golf clubs to fit your game but it's come to that time. These very shiny Hommers that I bought for 200 pounds cash off Face Bay. Well, let's just do a recap of all the videos, where these things have been, and keep you up to date. On my phone are four Honma head covers. 250 pounds, and I scroll through the photos, and I didn't know a lot about Honma, or um, the brand, or the type, or the styles, whatever. But I knew this was a good deal because, first of all, they looked immaculate. And second of all, they're Honma. I'll show you the clip of me and Mary on our first anniversary. This one, she's a keeper, going to collect these golf clubs. So it's currently Sunday, the 11th of August. Our anniversary. And Very what, first one. This is our first anniversary. <laughs> and what are we going to go and do? We are going to pick up some Honma golf clubs. Honma golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's our anniversary. Simon is somewhere in this complex picking up his hom hoppers. Homners. I don't know where he is. I <laughs> know he's not with me. But it's okay because as a little counterbalance, we might go pick up a pram in a minute. Ah! Here he is. With his stash. So it wasn't a scam. He not. is at lost. Unbelievable. He's swearing on his video. We'll have to beep that out for our younger viewers. Is he happy? They look unreal. Driver, three wood, five wood, both the rescues. And if these are real, they are easily worth a thousand pounds. I'll show you some prices of this driver second hand in lesser condition now. Um, and yes, they've got Ben Sharp on the top of them, but reading through the hundreds, and I mean hundreds of comments, and again, thank you for the support in the last video. A lot of you didn't mind. I did say, should I get it refinished? All of you said, leave Ben Sharp's name on there. It's a better story on the teapot, teapots, tea box. However, as you can see in some of my shots, this thing is an animal and it is a consistent animal. I probably hit, I'd say, 30 shots with this driver. I'm probably showing you as many of them as I can now. And I would say 80% of them found the fairway, which for me is very high. Like, I, my dispersion is obviously very wide, whereas distance is obviously, when I get hold of it, one of my biggest strengths. So we then relay it back to, is this driver fake? If it is, I want to find the factory that made it because I will buy 10 of these drivers for 50 quid. Wherever you are, if you make this driver and you want to sell a load of them, I will stock this, no questions asked. So by now you're probably wanting more Homer content, mainly because <laughs> 
I haven't done enough Homer content. I don't know if you know, but I bought a set of Homers off Facebook. And today, I'm not going to be testing them. It's me, bitch! <laughs> yeah, I haven't hit this yet. First time hitting it. Just want to get a bit of a feel. Played, he's played a rooster. He's played he's what? Played a that has gone absolutely miles. Oh my. Who needs a driver? Total distance 247 with the Epic. 254. So seven yards further with Homer. Boom. Nothing in it though, really, is Nothing there? Nothing really in it. But whatever, feel, whatever feels better. Do you like it? Good clip. Get as much footage as I can as well as I want to show you what I'm bagging today. What have I got in the bag? Because it might be the cheapest set here today on the course, but it's definitely the most interesting. Five, three, eight, downwind, par five. Let's see what the Honda can really do. What a beaut. Ollie's got 195. That's a comfortable 340 yard drive. Doesn't matter if I now shank it into the bunker. Even though I didn't look like on the tee, I knew what I was doing. Obviously I was. Cut the corner, three rescue, very lucky. 80 yard pitch shot down the hill. I need a birdie, I need to get going on this round. On Facebook for 200 quid. I only took three of them out because obviously I needed only 14 clubs in the bag and I couldn't have all the woods. So I took out my driver, which went an absolute mile today. I had some great drives with it. The five wood as well, which I hit a shot. Now I wanted the five wood mainly because of the more backspin as I'm not necessarily the straightest player. So I chose the five wood instead of the three wood. And then this three hybrid that I hit absolute monster, which I'll probably try and show you. Um, uh, but yeah, useful little clubs, these ones. And as I say, absolute bargain. I'm giving those away 20K. So there you have it. Not only was this probably the best purchase I've ever made, it gave me the idea for the series of Bargain Review, which has gone down extremely well. And I'd probably have to give that favour to why this channel has been growing so quickly and I'm getting such great reaction from you guys as well as ideas. I think that's the hardest thing when you do YouTube to try and be original, not like everyone else and this series has taken off and basically it's going to allow for season two, that's what I'm calling it. After these have gone, I've hit 20,000, season two is going to come out and we're going to go bigger and better. We're going to have a slightly larger budget, we're not going to go the bottom of a barrel because I've definitely done some cheap golf clubs but we're going to go more affordable but what can you get for affordable? We're not going brand new high end. We're definitely going to go mid range. And there is so many good golf clubs that you can put in your bag. Great condition, great quality. Just a general good buy. Now, one of the biggest questions I ask you guys at the very start of this is, do these go out as one whole set or do I split it up to five of you? And I've read all of the comments we've tallied my me and my wife have tallied up all the comments and in a slight majority 61 percent it was keep these all together so i know i'm gonna upset a lot of you either way as some of you said make sure there's five winners rather than one and some of you said you've got to keep it all together for the story as the set but i've decided even for myself, the emotional connection, I think this has to go out as a set. They look too good, especially with Ben Sharp down the top of them. The story of it as a whole set, I think is a lot more compelling. Um, uh, and I'm gonna have to ensure these either way to get sent out to you guys. It's just gonna be a lot cleaner to do it together, as well as the person that does win them, hopefully they'll send me a photo of them, using them, hitting them, framing them, whatever you want to do with them. I don't mind. So by now you probably think it's Simon. Tell us how to enter. You've dragged it out like a typical YouTuber. Yeah, sorry, that's just the way it is. Homer clubs. So win this set, and I'm going to pick it out of random. I'm probably going to do a live draw as soon as my account basically hits that 20,000 mark. I want it to go to one of you guys that was here before the 20,000. Um, some of you've been with the channel for a very, very long time, but it's going to be done at a random draw. I'm going to stop it at 20,000. I'm going to go through all the comments on this video and pick one at random. I'm going to probably do that live, um, hopefully, depending on what time in the night or day that is. Um, uh, and to win these golf clubs, all I need you to do is like this video, 
subscribe if you already haven't done so. As I say, the quicker we get to 20K, the better. And lastly, I want you to comment on the price range you want to see for season two. Do you want it to still be around that low end? It's gonna be slightly higher than low end. Do you want it to be mid-range or do you want it to be slightly higher than mid-range? And you might be thinking, Simon, how do I get bargain golf clubs when it's higher than mid-range? You'll be surprised, we're talking rare clubs, Japanese clubs, forged clubs, custom clubs, unique clubs. I've got so many ideas and the series has done incredibly well to this stage, so I'm going full in. We're going in for it, guys, and we're going to see where it can take us. As, I, as you've seen throughout this video, it's been an incredible journey. The last two months has literally just flown by, um, and hopefully we get to experience a lot more of these kind of sets. Not your standard sets that just come out year and year, and they change the colour, and they change the number on it, but unique clubs, clubs with story. I think that's the important bit. So, again, as I said, if you want to enter to win these clubs, leave it a like. Comment the price range you want to see in the next season of Bargain Review, and obviously subscribe if you haven't already done so. I guess the last thing to say is just a general thank you. I love doing this. I love making videos, I love creating, I love coming up with ideas. I love hearing your ideas as well, because I have to say, the majority of these videos, the ideas, the clubs that I've gone and got, is basically influenced on what you said. I try and reply to as many comments as I can, I try and reply to as many DMs as I can. I love, just this the community i love the youtube channel and as long as i can keep doing it we're going to be making more and hopefully better hopefully you've seen better content especially over the last two three months as i have tried to up everything in terms of production time spent money spent in these videos and hopefully it has shown so guys thank you ever so much for the support thank you ever so much for watching these videos i'll see you later